Here is a typical cell for an, a prisoner living at the Eastern State Penitentiary, uh, especially early on. A couple of things uh, noticeably lacking in this photo, though, uh, there probably would have been some sort of uh, decorations uh, on the walls. Uh, inmates were typically encouraged to decorate their walls. Uh, the other thing that I don't see in this photo, and there is a chance that maybe sitting over here on a desk or something out, outside of view uh, would have been a Bible uh, that, that should have been visible here. Um, the, the, the noticeable characteristics though, we got our bed and we've got our workstation and that's kind of the life of the inmate. Life was relatively rigorous at Eastern State Penitentiary. Inmates would have woken around uh, 4.30 to 5 a.m. They would have been limited in their exercise yard uh, to about an hour a day, weather permitting. Keep in mind, we're in Philadelphia at this point, uh, so the, the weather would have been a factor at certain points of the year. Meals were served at 7 a.m., uh, 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. Uh, bedtime was between 9 and 10 p.m. Uh, you can uh, guess one of the features of working alone that's going to come up uh, again and again throughout the history of the Eastern State Penitentiary is the inefficiency. Uh, inmates working by themselves uh, are not as efficient as inmates working uh, in a, uh, for example, an assembly line fashion. Uh, uh, where inmates have a specialty job that they do over and over and over again rather than from start to finish do one thing. You can see this inmate is uh, doing some sort of shoe repair, uh, making shoes, mending shoes. Uh, we'd call that a cobbler. Um, here's a photo of an inmate that looks like he's working on some sort of furniture, perhaps caning a chair. Um, these are the types of uh, mundane jobs or tasks that, that a lot of inmates would have been um, doing in their cell by themselves throughout the day. See so this inmate you can see some of the decorations that we might have seen but there's not a big difference between uh, this photograph and then this cell here. So as we um, move forward um, we talk about the uh, this is cell block seven. As I mentioned, uh, the daily routine, the, um, early on the inmates would have eaten in their cell in isolation, so we didn't have a uh, central cafeteria or uh, chow hall, as they might have called it, eventually. Eventually, in the new constructions that go on in Eastern State, they would install a cafeteria uh, but here we don't have one. So in cell block 7, uh, up until the late 1930s, there would have been a couple of cells uh, designated as the kitchen for providing food for the inmates who stayed in their cells all day. I do want to point out, um, it's, it's always kind of interesting, um, inmates here didn't eat that badly. Uh, the food was would have been all right. It wouldn't have been too terrible. Um, on top of getting about a pound of bread every day, uh, inmates would have enjoyed coffee for breakfast. They would have had uh, around a half a pound of meat, probably pork or beef, potatoes, some soup for lunch, uh, some type of porridge for dinner. Uh, but compared to a lot of other places, it, the food wouldn't have been uh, that terrible. So just kind of provide a, a daily uh, view of what life might have been like. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about the rules of Eastern State, um, so stay tuned for that.